Okay. Hey guys, how are you doing? I had a chance to see Missing today. Um, really good movie. Um, I'm just gonna give you my quick thoughts on it. Um, this one was a spiritual sequel to Searching. There's a few hints in there, but you don't need to see Searching to see this one. Um, and this was one of my most anticipated of this month, and for good reason. I went into this thinking it was going to be either better than the original, the same as the original, but nothing, nothing worse or anything like that. So basically, this movie stars Storm Reed as this um, girl who her mom goes missing. Um, and basically, the plot is her mom goes missing. Her mom goes on a vacation. And she has, she has a whole house to herself, throws a party and all that. And her mom goes missing. And it just takes off from there. So it takes about 10-ish minutes or so to get through everything else. And then right after that, it picks up. It goes 0 to 100 real quick. This movie, because it throws you for so many twists and turns... And when you think one thing is happening, another thing comes out and hits you right in the face. The thing I like about this movie is the same with the first one. They used the internet and technology in so many different cool ways that it kept your attention the whole time. Especially in this film. This film is filmed through a screen the whole time. Like a laptop or a FaceTime, which is a really cool concept when done right. So basically, the film goes along. Her mom goes missing. And she goes on this hunt to find out where her mom is, using, like, all the uh, the te technology on her laptop, using different location services, using um, different maps, calling different people, using every kind of thing she has on her computer and the internet that's available to her so they do a really good um job of using the internet in many different ways and using all the different applications we have on computers in many different ways to kind of help solve this mystery so she uses all this to find out her mom and throughout the way there are so many twists and turns in this film um that i don't want to get too into it but the ending at the end of the film, you're not going to know. It's 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 not, like, a super disappointing ending. But, like, I, I kind of wished it ended differently. Not upset with it. was just kind of like, what the, what the F, you know? But that's kind of how some movies are. But this movie is just a amazing, brilliant way of telling a crime mystery thriller through the internet, through the eyes of FaceTime, through the eyes of the internet in general. Um, said it keeps your, it keeps you entertained. And you would think, you know, like some point or another, you would stop being entertained by this, but they do a really good way of using different transitions to keep you focused. Whether it's, you know, zooming in here and then zooming out there or Going from one thing, to, like going from FaceTime to like another window open in the internet. It does a really good job of balancing those transitions. It does a really good job of using the resources at hand to tell a very compelling, thrilling, mysterious story with a whole lot of twists and turns and surprisingly very emotional. The first one was emotional, but I would say this one is probably more emotional than the first one. But anyway, if you are out in the theaters or you go to the movies and you don't know what to go see, I definitely recommend this movie. Um, this might take the best movie of this month for me when I do my end of the end of the month at the end of the month video. It might because that is how good this was. It completely. I thought it was going to be very good, good as the first one, but it complete. I think it's better than the first one. I think it completely blew me away in what it was capable of doing with this type of story. I felt interested the whole time. I felt on the edge of my seat the whole time. I felt like I didn't know where it was going to go with all the twists and turns. 
it's just one of those movies where you watch it and you just keep guessing what's going to happen. And I love those type of films because it keeps you on your feet. It keeps you on the edge of your seat wondering what's next. Wondering what's going to happen to these characters. Wondering when this mystery is going to be solved and what steps they're taking. And oh, this, this comes in now. So we need to deal with that. I like those type of movies that keep you on the edge of your seat. So I definitely recommend you go see this because this is a theater experience movie. You need to be in that theater experiencing that atmosphere in this type of film. Loved it. Completely blew on my expectations for it. Thought it was going to be good. Thought it was going to be as good as the first. But I think it's better than the first. Just, just completely amazed with this movie. So that was my review of Missing. Once again, it was on my most anticipated. I was excited for it, but it wasn't like top of my radar. But like, like I said, this might take the cake for the best movie this month. So till the next upload, peace, love, and positivity. And uh, I'll see you in the next upload. Bye.